Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we're at a Disney Springs and uh, it's pretty busy. It's spring break, uh, going into Easter weekend. So it's very popular out here. Uh, but we are gonna be over this weekend, so we thought we would pop by. Uh, we're gonna try to go to Gideon's today, maybe Amaret's and try to see some treats. Uh, so let's go check those out. Uh, we're gonna show you how you get into Gideon's because it's not as easy as just walking in. They have a virtual queue, so we'll show you up that virtual queue and uh, what else there might be going on this weekend in Disney Springs. So when you come up to Gideon's, and Gideon's actually right here in the corner in between Raglan Road and more Moto Asia, we'll be able to get a better look of it around the corner. But you see a line over here. First, before you go in that line, you have to come over here to the virtual line and sign up for a virtual return time. So we're gonna go and do that now. So we did the virtual queue return time right here at Gideon's and they told us uh, four hours, possibly four hours. So we're gonna go eat, shop around and see if maybe we can come back later. And here is the famous Gideon's Bakehouse. It is really cool looking building right here, kind of that old style brick building. They are delicious cookies. We went to the one over in downtown Orlando once. Uh, so we're gonna try to see if we can get back in this time because those cookies were delicious. We'll show you the experience inside once it's our turn. So while we wait for Gideon's over here in Disney Springs, we're gonna check out some of the other treats they have. We're gonna start over in the ganachery. Uh, we heard they have some new uh, Easter treats and chocolates. So we'll go and check that out. So now in the ganachery, they have a lot of actually really cool new stuff. So this is what they call a chocolate pinata. It's like an Easter bunny, um, I guess Mickey or Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse, I would guess, because of the bow. Uh, but they said that there are these, those little beads inside. And it actually also comes with marshmallows inside as well. Uh, you, they give you a little hammer and you can break it open and then you can eat the chocolate. So that's pretty cool. We also have the chocolate pops here, these Mickey Mouse chocolate pops, and some chocolate bars. Of course, here everyone loves the s'mores, and they make the s'mores right back here, fresh daily. So you can see Chris right back there working on those s'mores. Here they have all that chocolate fudge, mint pistachio, and look, they got Minnie and Mickey Mouse on there. That's adorable. But all these different flavors. So here is going to be the closer look at that pinata. So you see those little balls, that's what's inside of it. Just little chocolate balls, crunch, or crispy crunch balls, they said. So it's a cute look. And now this is the thing that Michaela's getting here. It is a chocolate bunny beverage. Now they have an alcoholic version where it comes with chocolate and like a bourbon chocolate salt, uh, bourbon uh, chocolate drink. So it's bourbon mixed with kind of like chocolate milk. And then here they have the non-alcohol version, which is, you know, more of just regular chocolate milk. And it comes in these adorable little chocolate bunnies with the straw and everything. Here is the little chocolate bunny that I'm gonna get. It is filled with a chocolate milk, like Dominic said. I'm so excited to try it. It comes in this like wooden little box here. And there is the hole on the back. And they don't have it pre-filled. They fill it in front of you. So that's pretty cool. So it's not gonna like melt the anything or make anything warm, but I'm excited to try it. So here's the bunny. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm not gonna bite into it just yet, but let's taste what it tastes like inside. It's actually really, really creamy, but not too overly chocolate. It tastes like milk chocolate, and it almost tastes like a milkshake, a more watered-down milkshake, but it's truly very delicious and honestly worth the wait. I waited about like 30 minutes to get inside, um, but it's a nice size. My hand to compare the sizes here. Okay, see how big it is. It goes all the way around, and it's a hollow bunny but delicious, highly recommend. So we also headed over to Amaret's Bakery to check out some of the cakes and such. And know that we didn't get to check out the, the WandaVision cake that they had. 
couple months ago. So we'll see if maybe they have anything else new over here uh, this time around. Here at Ember, for the first time in a while, they have these adorable cakes if you've never been in here. But they are pretty up to different price. But the Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar, they got Pluto, Mini. They have a signature cake, which is $75, but it does have buttercream, so that sounds good. Got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Those are some of those signature cakes they have here. They do look pretty good. Good one to have for like a birthday. They also serve crepes here, and you get a sneak peek of them in action cooking them. See to the side, that is the finished product. They look delicious. If we didn't just eat lunch, probably would want to get one. And here's another cast member making some of those Mickey Mouse cakes. Look at all of those mini Mickey Mouse cakes there. Wow, that is a lot of cake. And if you're wondering what is in the Mickey Mousse, it's that little Mickey Mouse thing we just showed. The dark chocolate, as modeling chocolate, chocolate crisp pearls, uh, chocolate cream, and a chocolate coffin cake with some white chocolate mousse. Some more deliciousness over here. They have some awesome stuff like that Mickey Mouse mousse and a creme brulee and some eclairs. They also have what Michaela's gonna get over here, which is, it looks like a bunny butt, is the bunny mousse. And there, that bunny mousse, carrot cake, coconut ice cream mousse, and caramel cream cheese center, which sounds definitely delicious. She's gonna try it out and let us know how it is. So we went to Amaretz, and I wanna show you what we got. So they put it in this lovely bag, this little gift bag, but what's inside is what counts. So first, something I'm not gonna eat right now, but is offered over at Amaretz that they have macaroons. Lots of different flavors. I got the variety pack of five, but you could do five of the same flavor. You could do three of this, two of that. It doesn't matter, they just pack it for you. It's not pre-packaged. But this is the main event. Since it is Easter weekend, we did get another Easter treat. Get it out for you. Ooh, make sure it comes out all nice and pretty. Here it is, Dominic told you what we got. We have the Easter bunny, well, it's called the bunny moose. But we're gonna dive into it and see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna put it down right here. I'm gonna get my knife and fork. And let's slice into it. Little tail's falling off. Let's see. It's falling apart a little bit. There's the mousse, and then they have the carrot cake at the bottom. See it? And I think the, the grass is coconut, so let's give it a try. That's honestly really incredible. The mousse is nice and creamy. You taste that hint of caramel. And then the carrot cake, you can taste the hint of carrot cake. I thought it was gonna be crunchy. But it's actually very soft. It complements the mousse very well. And then the coconut, I think, has the strongest taste. So if you're not a big coconut fan, this might not be the thing for you. But I think it's delicious. I'm hoping that they keep it a little after Easter, too, so you can eat it as well. So I'm going to eat the rest of this. And then hopefully we'll head off to Gideon's. We'll get our text message. This is actually really perfect. I just put everything away from Amaretz, and I got a text message. It was... A little less than what they said, the 240 minutes. But here it is. They said, your moment is here. Now we're going to head off to Gideon's. And this is their first time going into the Disney Springs location. So I'm excited to see what special cookie they have and to get some of our favorites. And once you get the text, you return back to Gideon's and come back to this other line, which is the return for virtual queue. So most of the days, they're only gonna have their virtual queue. After three and a half hours of waiting for in the virtual line, then coming back, waiting another 15 minutes in the queue, 
We are ready for Gideon's Bakehouse. And we there, our delicious cookies. We'll show you inside. So this place is awesome looking. Kind of like a gothic atmosphere in here. Look at that low creepy artwork on the walls. But it's kind of a part of a theme, which is really awesome. And Disney's all about themes. So you have all over, yeah, it's kind of like a book shop in here. A little bit of books all over the walls there. And then you got those cakes and cookies that we're gonna grab up here. Let's show you all the delicious goodness once we get up. Here at Gideon's Bake Shop, that amazing deliciousness. They have cookies and cream. They have original chocolate chip, which ton of chocolate chips. They have a pistachio toffee chocolate chip. My favorite is the peanut butter crunch, and then the famous triple chocolate chip with all of the chocolate chips. It's consuming. Now, they also have some extra stuff too. They have a pin, which is really cool. They also sell like these coasters and stickers, and a candle, so you can actually have your house smell like Gideon's if you want. Uh, they also have some cakes, shuffle, red velvet, uh, key lime pie, and peanut butter banana double frosted cake, which sounds awesome. They also famously have cold brew and iced coffee, where they have peanut butter, iced coffee, ginger snap cold brew, and classic white cold brew that they come out of right here. This place is such a cool aesthetic and delicious cookies, delicious coffee. Check this out on the way out. So we have our Gideon's cookies on the box. It's a really nice box. Everyone gets it or you get the boxes in the bag. But we only got three cookies, so we got just the box. It says delicious things await. Gideon's Bakehouse. What's great about it, it opens right on up. Continue on with the theming. We got three cookies. We got is the cookies and cream. Look at all those Oreos on there. Then we also got Dominic's favorite, which is the peanut butter crunch. These are little peanut butter chips on the outside. And then the prized possession of Gideon is the classic chocolate chip. I'm not going to bite into any of it because we have tasted it and we absolutely love it. What's great about these cookies is it tastes like cookie dough, but it's baked. So I'm a huge fan of cookie dough and the fact that it's a baked cookie that tastes like cookie dough it makes it even better. But I am going to put it in my hand to show you the size of it. It's huge. And I'm also going to break it in front of you. So let's see. Oh, delicious. It's honestly so freaking good. And as you can tell, it looks like cookie dough in the inside. But trust me, it's cooked all the way. It's really, really good. We're going to save these for when we are home. But if you're in Disney Springs, go to Gideon's. So that's our day here at Disney Springs. Had a lot of awesome treats, Gideon's, Amorettes. I'm glad we really got into Gideon's because uh, so many people that we know have tried to get into Gideon's and it's no luck. Yeah, some people wait 10 hours for that. But I think it's great that it has the virtual line that you could get in and then get the text message later because have some fun at Disney Springs. Go try some of the other food, go get lunch, go get dinner, and then come, get, come back and get your cookies. The best part is you can keep those cookies for a long time. You can put them in the freezer. You can eat them at home, eat them with your cup of coffee the next morning. So there's no bad way to get Gideon's. Yes, the last time I ate over a three day period, it was delicious and fresh the entire time. Yeah. Uh, but what we didn't show is in between, we did go to lunch at the boathouse, which did help, uh, you know, Kate cash in on those three hours of time that we had in the mid yeah. in between. But want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the snacks we had today? Have you been able to get out to Gideon's or Amaret's or Ganache or any of the other uh, places that have these sweet treats. What do you think about these uh, Easter and spring 
uh, treats as well. Let us know in the comments down below. Also make sure to like and subscribe. Got a ton of videos in the channel, both Disney and Earth Uncle videos. Check them out, I hope you enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we'll see you again real soon.